Inspector Mr. Hyder, Mr. Arpin, His Excellency Mr. Nair, and other Excellencies from other countries. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today to share with me this special occasion. As a Canadian, I feel humbled and privileged in accepting this great honor that has been bestowed upon me by Thornton University. Today's ceremony is being dedicated to the memory of my parents who passionately believed in the power and value of education. Sometimes they sacrificed even their most simple players so that their children could <coughs> obtain good education and become something in their lives. And today, wherever they are, they must be very proud that their dreams have been fulfilled. In 1947, when India was divided into two countries, my parents lost everything, including their family home and savings. They left Pakistan just with clothes on their backs. Down the road, my father regained many times more than what he had lost because of his hard work and education. Among several things my father used to say that you can lose everything in life, but nobody can take education from you. Today, we are also celebrating 138th birthday of Mahatma Gandhi, sponsored by the Mahatma Gandhi Society of Ottawa. And we all know that Mahatma Gandhi was the greatest of the greatest crusader for the advancement of education in India especially for the untouchables, the back of classes, women, and millions and millions of villages. My father was only four when my grandfather died. Being a family of limited means, my father had to rely on financial assistance from the rich to complete his education, including his law school. He valued every opportunity made available to him and worked smart to become a successful lawyer. Throughout his life, he never once forgot the value of education, hard work, and above all, help of the donors and giving back to the community. In India, people say that donation in any shape or form is very good. I have been inspired by my father's belief in power of giving to the educational causes, and I sincerely believe this is the noblest form of donation. I have been donating to well-known charities for several years, and realized that these, or some of the institutes, give a very small portion of the total donation received to the end recipients, for the simple reason that the promotional and administrative expenses are very high. Then, Dr. Virod Kumar, former head of former head of Thor School of Business, introduced me the concept of matching donations. He guided me how my donations could be multiplied while preserving my original amount donated intact and maximizing the potential of potential value of the gifts. This concept was so appealing to me that I established my very first scholarship in the name of my parents. But whatever I have done for Carlton so far has really been an opportunity to appreciate for all it has provided in terms of education to thousands and thousands of students over the years. Carlton is not only a great Canadian educational institution, but also an international icon for overseas students. It is it has produced hundreds of top-notch politicians, scholars, scientists, statesmen, business visitors, and successful leaders in all walks of life. I hope that this inspires current and coming generations to achieve greatness by giving generously in whatever causes they may choose or believe in. I do not have a first to thank my family and friends for their unconditional support. Once again, I'm very humbled 
Si Carl Universe Reading this auditorium hall. Last Lastly, I sincerely express my gratitude to Dr. Rumer, Anil Agrawal of Mahatma Gandhi Society, Mr. Shri Kupal of India Canada Society, Ms. Sajar Pindu Kartanyu, and my very special science coach, Raghav Kamare, who works tirelessly, tirelessly with me and all others to make this glorious event a great success. At the end, I must thank each and everybody, including all the members of the Diplomatic Corps, who have made this function so graceful. Thank you very much. Thank you.